So through the process of elimination, we now know the thermistor is not the problem. So I put the old one back on there after testing it. I went ahead and opened up and you got the, the old death can of taser right there that I don't want to go anywhere near because I don't know how to discharge it. I don't have a proper tool. Um, however, it looks like there's the main board and I was looking around in the back. You see down there, there's little black capacitors on the underside of that little white thing right there. And I believe that that's the capacitor. Cause see how big the wire is coming off of that little brown wire down there. I think that's the relay for the compressor. So what I'm going to do is take my LTX screwdriver. <laughs> Hopefully, I mean, it's insulated. I mean, it feels insulated and I'm going to reach down there and just bang on that relay and see if I can free it up. Cause it is frozen. If you put power to the AC, the compressor just turns on and stays on. Even if the front panel is completely turned off and there's not a single light on, the compressor just runs and this just turns into a giant block of ice. So I'm going to bang on this. We'll see what happens here. Let's get down in there. Um, I'm just kidding. Ah. This is scary though. I don't like working around the capacitor. Okay, let me bang on it some more. This used to work on my Ford truck, by the way. I had a Ford Ranger XLT and it had a stuck relay for the starter. And the starter would just go ram, 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 even if you turn the key off and you had to open the hood really quick and bang on the relay to get it to stop. And uh, so I'm hoping that all relays are created equal and that big black thing down there just got unstuck. Well, only one way to find out, I guess. All right. Oh shit, did I seriously do that while it was plugged in and powered? All right, well, I just dodged a bullet. Um, <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna post this anyways because I think people need to see stupidity like that. Well, all right, so before when I powered it on, uh, the compressor just immediately turns on and it starts freezing up. So let's see what happens this time. Okay, it's not reading an error, so it knows the thermistor probe is there. Oh, wait, that's a good sign. That's a good sign before when I powered it on, like the second I push the power button, it goes Eeeh. So, okay, all right, let's listen for the relay. Right now I only hear the fan, I don't hear the compressor and that's great because the compressor wouldn't shut off ever before. Did I just free it up? Oh, oh, I think I hear the compressor. Yeah, you hear that Eeeh, like a refrigerator? Okay, so the compressor is definitely on. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear that. that. Okay, so right now it's set to 60 degrees. So let's see if the compressor kicks off and the relay kicks off when I go up. to click yes 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 it didn't do that before <gasps> holy shit did i actually fix it by just banging on it with a screwdriver oh my god it's gonna make me so oh i didn't fix it i still need to pull out that main board once i know how to drain that capacitor and replace that surface mount relay because if it got stuck twice already in the last month it's gonna get stuck again and again it's obviously getting worn out so well let's see let's see if that was just a fluke let's turn it off Turn it back on. Okay, I got it on 86 degrees, so the compressor should not kick on. Okay, here's the fan. No compressor, just the fan. God, I've been working on this for hours. Just been sweating bullets, back's killing me. All I wanted to do was live stream tonight because this whole week was a bust because of my freaking back. And I got a bunch of stuff going on this weekend and the whole room is still completely trashed and I got to get it. Oh, oh, did you see that? The fan kicked off before the compressor had already been on. Okay, so here's the real trick. So if we lower the temperature below what the temperature in the room is, I think right now it's like 70 or 68. So let's go down to like 66. Let's see if the compressor kicks on. Listen for the relay. Okay, the fans are on. No compressor, that's good. Wait for it. Okay. That relay is off, which is good, before it was stuck in the on position. Okay. Right now it's in energy saver mode. That's what the orange LED means. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought I heard the compressor. 
I didn't hear the relay click. Oh, it's blowing cold air. But... No, it's not. It's not cold. Oh, no, it is getting a little bit cold. Oh no, I hear it now. I can hear it. It's in low power mode right now. That's why. Here, let me put. Let me put it in the high power. Cold as it should be though. I'm a little concerned right now. I don't know if it's working. I do hear that refrigerator sound a little bit. Oh no, it's blowing ice cold now. It, it, de it definitely kicked on. Now it's blowing ice cold. Yep, I hear it. Okay, so the compressor's on. It was probably just delayed because I'm turning it on and off and it's having to finish the cycle. Oh yeah, it's blowing ice cold air. Okay, now the trick is if I turn it off before the fans would turn off, but the compressor would keep going. And then this would start frosting up in about 30 seconds. So I push the power button to see if it all turns off. Actually, here, let me just raise the temperature first and see if it kicks off. Yes! Yes, you guys, did you hear the click? We're good. Now if I turn it off, it should turn off completely. Come on, baby. Come on, no fans, nothing. Oh my God, I cannot fucking believe that worked. Linus Tech Tip screwdriver for the win, baby. <laughs> Don't try this at home. 